Meet Georges Pierre Seurat, a French artist from the mid 1800s. He is known for an unusual technique called pointillism, or painting by dots. Pointillism is the use of carefully placed dots of pure unmixed color. In the circus sideshow, you can see all the individual dots when you look closely at this man's face. Pointillism has a soft look as it has no hard lines, just lots and lots of dots. This technique takes time, and some of his works took over two years to complete. Today we will be trying pointillism by painting one of your favorite fruits. First, before we start, let's write our name on the back of our painting service. Next, you will lightly draw the very basic shape of whichever fruit you choose. Just remember to keep it simple. I chose a strawberry. Here are some examples for you to consider as you decide on which fruit you will sketch. Once your fruit is sketched lightly on the board, take the acrylic rod and dip it into one color of paint, and then start placing dots of paint on your outline to define your shape. After three or four dots, you will need to dip the rod back into the paint. It works best to dip it in only slightly as the paint needs to be on the bottom of the rod with less up the sides. Carefully continue placing dots on your fruit. Once it is mostly covered, you can touch up places that you might want to add more color. Before using a different color, we need to make sure you clean your rod well by placing it across the wet sponge and twisting like this. Then also make sure the end is wiped off as well. This makes sure that a different color doesn't get mixed in the paint containers. Everyone in the school is sharing these supplies, so we want to keep them clean for our fellow Woodburn Wolves. Now that the, my rod is clean, I am moving on to the green leaves. I first did the dots along the lines drawn earlier to define the shape of the leaves, then filled in with more dots. In the leaves, I wanted to add some yellow tone to the leaves. I cleaned the rod again before adding the yellow. As the green is still wet, I checked the rod each time to see if green has transferred to the rod before getting more yellow. Once I was done with my leaves, I went back to the strawberry and added some of the yellow dots now that the red is mostly dry to not mix the colors. Once you have filled in your fruit and there is enough time left, you can also create a dotted background or surface for your fruit to set on. For the background, I started with the dots closer together, then made them further apart to fill in the background. I hope you have fun experimenting with this different way of painting today. Make sure you have your jackets off and any long sleeves pulled up to avoid getting paint on your clothes. Remember to use the wipe to clean off your paint from your hands and clean the rod before changing colors. 